The problem with this statue is that it sits at the seat of government here in Loudoun County. For Philip Thompson, this mission he's been on all began with a fight over this statue in front of the courthouse. It honors Confederate soldiers who lost their life in the Civil War. Well, you only tell them half the story. You know, if you just if you just focus on those five years during the Civil War, you're not telling the true story of the South. What happened after that? A lot of racial violence. That included lynchings. Thompson did some research and found out that there have been three in Loudoun County's history, and he wants to put a memorial at each one of them. Now this is Church Street. Thompson took us to each of the three sites, starting with the W and OD Trail. I mean, this is the railroad. There he told us about Orion Anderson, a teenager between 12 and 18 years old. Newspaper clippings show that he was accused of assaulting a 15-year-old white girl. He was arrested and put in jail, but late at night, a mob forced their way in and took him, marching him to the train depot where he was hung, shot, and killed. You know, a young man died. A young man died in the extrajudicial lynching, and it's like this town just said, eh, you know, we're going to keep that, sweep that underneath the rug and not talk about that. You just wonder what was going through that young man's mind. We're at the corner here. The other two were equally sinister. First, Thompson took us to the intersection of East Market and Catoctin Circle, where a cemetery once stood. Charles Craven was hung and killed there by a mob of about 500. He was accused of killing a prominent white farmer. You know, you walk around this county and you say, oh, this place is pretty and this and that. But people don't know what, what occurred here. You know, a lot of the history. And here, surrounded by great natural beauty, there was more human carnage. Near where we now find the Point of Rocks Bridge, Paige Wallace was hung and killed as he got off a ferry. He was accused of rape. Even if the allegations are true, you know, we should at least, you know, have it proved. You know, you know how many African-American men have died from lynching based on uh, the pronouncements of, of one person. And so now, more than a century has passed by. But Thompson says the legacy remains important. We remember things because we think they're important and want the people in the future to know this is history. And why tell one part of history and not the other part of history?